Hello again. Today we're going to talk about multimeters. Um, something that anyone who works on vehicles or electronics or household stuff, basically anyone who does do-it-yourself stuff at all, should have one of these. Um, this is an Anova 3320. It's my preferred one, basically because it's not overly expensive, but it's also not super cheap. It has more features than I really need to use at any given time, so I'm pretty fond of it. There's one above this, which I might consider getting at some point. It's the yellow model. And there's one below this, which is the blue. Uh, the blue is basically for just checking your batteries, house current, stuff like that. It's pretty basic. This one I'm fond of. It has quite a few features. Your standard one on your direct current setting, so it'll check your direct current, uh, 12 volt batteries, all batteries, nine volts, whatever you want to check it with. So it's your standard black to black, red to red and it will tell you how many volts you have going through that. So in this case, I have it hooked up to a bench transformer that I use and it's 19.8 volts DC, as it says there. Something a lot of people may not know about these meters, most meters have it nowadays, even the inexpensive wired ones, is that you can switch the wires, so red to black, black to red, it still tells you you have 19.79 volts, but it has a negative in front of it, which is telling you that it's hooked up backwards. Um, really handy if you're working on cars and whatnot, you're not entirely sure which wire is which. Um, you don't have the color code book or whatever handy, or somebody else has gone through and wired things up and you're trying to unravel what they've done without speaking with them. Uh, anyone who's dealt with cars, used cars, knows that hassle and headache, I'm sure. Another thing these are good for is if you're testing one of these transformers, this one's off a uh, battery charger for a set of FM radios, but if you've ever tried to reuse, repurpose one of these, reuse or repurpose, you might not know which is which because they can vary. Some are positive posts, negative outside, some are uh, positive outside, negative post on the inside, and you're not sure. So you can use this meter and that feature to tell you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So touch the outside to the outside, the inside to the inside, and this one is putting out 9.9 .9 volts and it is negative outside positive post. If you were to check it backwards, it'll tell you that the post is indeed positive and not negative. And now you know if you're repurposing it, you can mark which wire is which. Usually it tells you with the white line down the one wire, but it's not always easily decipherable and it's important to know. So that's one thing this meter can do. Another thing this meter can do is it'll test continuity. So with a, an audible sound, you don't have to read the meter to tell you if you actually have a, a connection going through, it makes the beep. I love that feature. So say you're checking a wire and you want to know break in it or if it goes all the way through you hook it up like that and it will in fact give you an audible sound to tell you that there is a connection through that wire now say we were working on this one and say it's in a car or whatnot and you got to find out all the way back it can be a real hassle at times to find out because you know at the end it's not going through you have no continuity there how do you check the inside? With one of these. This will tell you if you have a connection. This goes to the negative somewhere on the body or a wire, usually the body on most cars, because it's it's direct volt, it's direct current. It's not uh, AC, do not use this for AC current, it will fry it. This will tell you. So if you had it hooked up your standard way, which is negative to the black, and positive is going into the wire or whatever you want to check it lights up and again this one tells you that that is positive if I was to hook it up the opposite way it would tell you that it's still it's got current going through it got power going through it but it is wired backwards now for our purposes here we're going to take this and we're going to use it like this to test this wire so we would run one of our probes to the source of the wire and the other to puncture through the sheath of the wire and check to see if you have anything going through there. You don't there, but this is because this wire 
is difficult to puncture. You have to have it seated right in there. But once you get it through the sheath, it does tell you that you have a connection there. Now, on the other side of this brake, see it in there properly. You know, there's nothing. So you know that somewhere between here and the last point you checked, which was there, there's a brake. I know this one has it because I put it there, but that's how you can test with that. Now, another feature that a lot of people don't know, well, it's technically not a feature, it's more of a hack, is say you are got a vehicle and somebody else has done wiring in it and you have a wire up under the hood and you want to work back at the tail light or something like that and you're not entirely sure which wire it is. What you can do is you hook your meter up at the front of the vehicle where the source of the wire you want to find is located. So you connect that part to there. Then you make a alligator clip set, just like this with the alligator clips on it. You don't have to make the alligator clips. You can use a long wire, but I do it quite often. So I make clips. You connect that to the other probe on your meter. These cords that come with the meters, they're definitely not long enough to go from one end of the vehicle to the other. That's why we have the elevator clip. Then you take this and at the back, you test the wires. You test the wire to try to figure out which one is which. And it will tell you by beeping. So this can be up under the hood. And as soon as you touch that, it will beep and you will hear it and know exactly which wire it is. Alone, this meter, this one, won't do that. Um, this will tell you if you have power going through it, and it will easily tell you that. What it won't tell you is if that power going through is the same wire that you're testing up front. So this one will tell you, like I said, if you have power going through it, but it won't tell you if that's the white wire or the wire to the light or whatever. Um, the combination of these two will do that, and it's a pretty handy hack. I've used it a lot, and it can save you a lot of time and frustration trying to figure out which wires are which in a car, truck, van, RV, whatever. Is somebody else's wire done wiring in it? Chances are at some point you'll need to do that. So those are a couple of handy hacks that I've come up with over the years. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click that like and subscribe button. By all means, share with your friends. Um, you definitely use the coverage and I would appreciate it a lot. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the description below or the comment section below. Uh, check out kootenyboy.com for updates on the videos, uh, more schematics and links and whatnot that I can put in here. You'll find there. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.